Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to install damn vulnerable web app or DVWA in Kali Linux. So let's start. Damn vulnerable web app DVWA is a PHP MySQL web application that is damn vulnerable. Its main goals are to be an aid for security professionals to test their skills and tools in a legal environment. Help web developers better understand the processes of securing web applications. So copy the GitHub link from the official GitHub page. I will give the link in the description below. Now you can see my installed latest Kali Linux version. Your Kali Linux should be up to date. You can update your Kali Linux using sudo apt update command. Now using the cd command go to the web server directory. Slash bar slash www slash html as just the default root folder of the web server. Now download the dvwa using the git clone command. Now here you can see the downloaded directory. Now we have to give the executable permission for this directory. So this is the command. sudo chmod r777 and directory name dvwa. Now using the cd command go to the config directory inside the dvwa. And here you can see the default configuration file. And here you can see the default configuration file config.inc.php.dist. The next step is to copy this file into the same directory and rename it to config.inc.php. Always make a copy do not rename the original file. In the future original file may be needed. Now we have to edit the config.inc.php file. So open this file using your favorite text editor. I am using nano text editor here. Now in this file, you will see the default configurations like this. You can use the default settings. Or you can do some changes. Like I am changing the database username and password. And then save the file. Now save the file by pressing Ctrl plus O key. And exit by pressing the Ctrl plus X key. Now our DVWA configuration is completed. Now next thing is to do start the database services. So the command is sudo service mysql start. No error means service is started. Now let's log in into mysql server. I am using root user to log in into mysql server. You can log in to another super user if you want. By default in MySQL, no password set up for the root user so just hit the enter. Now set up the database for DVWA. First thing is to create a database. And in the DVWA configuration file, we set up the database name DVWA. Now we have to create a new user. So the command is, create, user, then the name of the user that is admin at 127.0.0.1. This is an IPv4 address called loopback address, localhost or local server. Identified by password and semicolon. Now next step is to do grant all the privileges to this user over the database of DVWA. So the command is grant all privileges on DVWA dot star to admin at 127.0.0.1 and semicolon. Now our database is configured. Now exit from the MySQL by typing exit. Now clear the screen by pressing Windows plus L key. Now start the web server. I am using Apache 2 web server. So the command is sudo service Apache 2 start. Because Apache 2 is by default installed in the latest version of Kali Linux. Now next step is PHP configuration. Yes, we have to do some changes to the php.in file. So this is the commander path of the file. My installed PHP version is 8.1. If in your system PHP version is anything else you will see the version here. Here if you are using a nano text editor. You have to press the Ctrl plus W to enable the search option. 
And here we have to search the F open. Now here you can see we find the F open. Here we have two on these options. Allow URL F open equals should be on and allow URL include equals should be on. Here both values should be on. Now save the file by pressing Ctrl plus O key. And exit by pressing the Ctrl plus X key. Now reload the Apache 2 web server using this command. sudo service apache2 reload. Now open your web browser. And enter the 127.0.0.1 my local web server address and name of the directory dvwa. Now here enter the username as admin and password is password. The first time you will get this screen, database setup. Here scroll it down. And click on create, reset database. Now log in again with the same username and password. Now you can easily use the DVWA in your Kali Linux. So that is it. This is the way how to install damn vulnerable web app or DVWA in Kali Linux. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.